baby friends welcome or welcome back to another episode of beanie baby babies i'm brandy and here on this channel we talk all about beanie babies and today i have with me a couple of beanie buddies let's see what it says about happy birthday buddy oh here it is bb bear B.B. Bear was introduced January 1st, 2001 and retired December 31st, 2001. B.B. Bear the Beanie Baby was the first Beanie Baby created without a birthday. This is a fourth generation Beanie Bud now. I'm sure you already saw from the video's title that I'm turning these cuties into a two-headed Beanie Buddy, the first one ever. It's gonna be epic. So we're gonna need a couple supplies. We got a needle, thread, thread ripper, scissors. For this one, I'm also going to be using a scalpel. We'll see how that goes, because they're super sharp. I might end up needing a thimble. I'm gonna have that right near me. This video is going to be turning these twins into Siamese twins. So let's get started. These are Beanie Buddies. Neither of them have a hang tag. They've already lost it. They were somebody else's pets. You know what, this one's missing a little thread right here. Let me go ahead and fix that while we're working. So the first decision that you want to make is if you're combining two beanie babies together, beanie buddies together, do you want it to have one body with two heads or two bodies? For example, let's go ahead and pull Glory out. So Glory is one beanie bear and an extra head. So this head was sewn on. I opened it up over here, opened up his shoulder, and added a head. On the other hand, when I make these two, and they're two totally different bears, I'm probably going to do it like that. So let's get started. Let's prep for surgery. Hands are clean, of course. All scrubbed in. Scalpel ready. Which body do we want to keep? I like both of them so much. I'm gonna end up keeping this one. And I want his head to be on this side. Do I? Or do I want his extra head to be on this side? Let's start by removing the head. I'm going to go a little bit lower than the seam so that I can use that area. This scalpel is working great, by the way. On one of the ones I made, I saved the whole arm and the head and then anchored the head into the body with the arm. So that's another option too. I wanna save this body and use it for something else. All right, first beanie buddy is decapitated. Oh no, I lost my head. You know what, just sit there and watch the operation, okay? So, which side's gonna look better? Oh my gosh, how good is this gonna look? From this side? Yeah, I like that. From this side? Yeah, I like it on this side better. Totally personal preference. Okay, so now, there's already a seam here. That's where I'm gonna cut it. Right down the seam. You don't wanna get too far into the arm. It is gonna go in a bit. Keep room. I'm gonna have to open it up this way a little bit. All right. 
tonight. I just want to make sure that, that is all nice and open. Very good. Now the first thing we need to do is fix his face. This teddy bear is kind of like missing just a little piece of thread right there that gives it that signature tied bear look. Go up through all this fluff. Poke my needle through. See where it goes. Just the tiniest little piece. Excellent. See, look at that just tiny difference makes the world of a difference. Okay, so first thing, get this tuft connected to this head. Now line them up on the outside, pinch it, and stick my needle through. Carefully, carefully, pop them apart, but that's okay. Things are starting. That's all I need, that initial contact. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that back and forth. In and out, back and forth. Awesome. Okay. We are rocking and rolling. Okay, so all I'm doing forth from one head to the other, making my way to the front. Grabbing a piece of the head, grabbing a piece of the head. Grabbing a piece of the front. <laughs> Stuff that stepping back in there. I'm working from the outside in. It's time to switch threads already. I'm doubling up on thread. So, um, inside. I've been ready to make the buddy video. And I've been trying to wait. To do this project until I was further along in that project. But then I ended up buying more buddies. <laughs> I went to a live auction. It was a live YouTube auction. Um, it was Melanie Light's auction here on YouTube. And I had found her because she made a princess video. And I was excited to catch this live. And they, since my name on YouTube, you know, is being Baby Babies, the one guy that had things for auction that night said, Ooh! Got some beanie babies. Oh my gosh, he had beanie bodies. Five for five dollars was the opening bid. And I thought for sure they were gonna go before I could even bid on them because that's such a great price. And then, wouldn't you know it, nobody bid on them except me. I got them, I got them five for five dollars. And then like nine dollars shipping, but still, that's such a good deal. Such a great deal. I don't make that video yet without those five that are coming. And then I wanted to make sure that I made that video before this one, except I have another birthday bear. I had three. I had three birthday bears. So guess what? Just make the videos. I've been doing this 1K challenge with Think Media. Um, and the key <laughs> to being a success on YouTube is just by uploading videos to YouTube, basically. So, so brilliant. And so simple. Alright. You got all the way around the front of the head. So that's where we are so far. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. You know, I don't think I had to cut this far down in his arm. This is going to be a problem. I mean, a fixable problem, obviously, but just keep going. Just keep going, just keep sewing. Okay, so now the way I wanna do it is have this back to back, pinch it. I'm sure pins would work.
scalpel closed. a random place to start that was further back than where I am. So the first couple of my, the first couple strokes no, that's not many, are just going to be duplicate. I could add a third head. <laughs> I just want to make sure I make it like extra, extra secure. So the first go around was getting it all connected. Now the second go around, I'm going to make it tighter. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. These colors are fantastic. It's so, 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 so soft. I love working with it. With these guys. So soft. Yeah, I'm going to make it even closer. Even closer than it was. So I'm going to go up a little bit higher this time. Such a bad place to take it out. You know what? I'm just gonna pull it through, cut the thread. No, it won't let me. I don't wanna lose it again. Oh, there we go. Right where it's all of that on video. I hope you like my two-headed teddy bear. I'll give it a big hug. It's very, very huggable. Snip off a couple little loose threads peeking through. Happy birthday. <laughs> 
Happy, 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 happy birthday.